I worked out really hard yesterday. Finally got to use my smith machine that I got set up two days ago. Three days ago now. So I fell asleep pretty easily. But then I woke up at like 5.30 for no reason. But I tell you what though, I remember my dream that I was having exactly. And it was such a crazy specific dream. But not only that, it was a dream that played out like in real time. You know, dreams usually it feels like you kind of are bouncing around all over the place or uh... You know, it all is done in a flash, because you, you just wake up and you don't really feel the passage of time as much. I remembered everything that happened in the dream, from like start to finish, and I felt like it was taking forever. And the dream was me playing a PVT. Which... I don't find it to be a particularly grueling matchup. I quite like it. Sometimes it goes long. But for some reason, I played out this PVT in my mind from start to finish. From like first pylon to first attack on my third base to like four or five bases. It turned into a bit of a base trade where the Terran sniped two of my Nexus and I was like running around trying to keep up and Replace my Nexus. Keep my army under control. I had Blinkstalker Colossus army. And I was fairly sure that I could go across to kill him, but this guy was being such a pest. And gosh darn it, if I didn't wake up before the ending of that game. So I guess when I said start to finish just means start, so basically when I woke up, I didn't actually get to finish the fucking game. <laughs> Absolutely zero reward. Whoa, I'm being T Rexed? That never happens. Wait. What? No? Hello? Yeah, okay, I was very wary. I was very tired afterwards and just felt like I had played the, the game in real time. There it is. Fuck. This is so weird. Late attack. Waited for the van links. Now I probably invested too much. Let's try and make it weird at least. We 
follows up with a Hellbat attack. Uh, that'd be in a lot of trouble, I think. So Viking first, but doesn't mean that it's not Banshees. I assumed he would have enough Hellions that a counter would not work. Because he got it pretty quickly, and because my first bust failed. I got overconfident and busted without the actual bust units, you know? We require more minerals. Our forces are under attack. Oh, is he gonna go battle cruisers? Why oh, he's only got one Hellion? We require more minerals, not enough energy. Yep. My queens one at a time. Okay. Well, actually, it's really not that bad since his natural only just came down. We require more minerals. We require more minerals. Mineral depleted. So more overlord. So more overlord. I assume he's gonna go roaches. Did I say go roaches? Of course I meant that he was gonna go mech. I should go roaches. We require more minerals. 
Almost to a good drone count. Oh, he's like, oh fuck, he's like one mech. We require Hold on a second. plans just uh meant that there could have been an attack faster that would have killed me for all the greed Oh, fuck. <laughs> Just ran into my own shit. Banelings. Banelings. And some drones. Stop that! Move. Good thing I made extra. GG. That guy actually could have had such a better follow-up. I do not think he was in a terrible position after the two rocks. But he played really conservatively. Nero talked about it. It bunk rushed like that. Don't scout. Unlikey to be mech. I think you're giving way too much credit to uh, Masters League, Terran. It is, I think, personally, far more likely in, let's say, like, Masters... Below Masters 2, let's say bef below Masters 2, that you're gonna have mech abusers. 
You're gonna face a lot of people who cheese and then mech. The higher you go up, the more that you start to look at why wouldn't they scout with the barracks? Why would they bring the barracks back? But... Yeah. The other thing that made me convinced that he was gonna mech besides the cheesy nature of mech players at the opener is that he got a tank so quickly. No Hellions. His barracks were used to wall. Actually, everything about this points to it being a mech player. I was absolutely not in the wrong to guess that it was mech. <laughs> if he had uh, gone to the Hellions, which he absolutely should have, by the way, actually going into a tank, had my first bust worked, had I been able to kill these and then move on to a Bane bust, I would have won. A tank pops out really late and... Uh, it gets one shot off, but if you have enough failings that can still crash through the Debipos, then the tank gets overwhelmed and it's not microable. So don't do what this guy did, which is a terrible macro on the follow up. Tank instead of Hellions loses all map control. Actually, not that safe against a Link Bane Link counter. Barracks, not even actually a wall for no good reason. Don't know what that's about. Uh, super unideal situation. I didn't play particularly well either. I just saw my overlord just chilled without scouting what, what the fuck was happening before dying to the Viking. Could have confirmed it was a fusion core. A spore crawler in every base would have stopped a little bit of the snowball that happened. But, yeah. The follow-up from this guy could have been so much better, because the T-Rex did do damage. I don't really care about the whole Battlecruiser into Bio thing, but... Basically, then you'd only usually get one Battlecruiser, not two. His SCD production was significantly lacking. He got a second starport this fast? What? This guy's all over the place. Don't play like that guy. Don't play like me that much either. But definitely not like that guy. That was very much a, uh, just gonna try to keep my minerals low. Which, you know, that's your first goal, but it's only gonna take you so far. Then you gotta actually get a proper build and worker production to get to the economy that if you do keep your minerals low, is still actually good. I mean, if you make 10 SCVs and your minerals are low, you're like, I'm good at StarCraft? No. I'm especially critical against the uh, non-Zerg opponents when I play Zerg. I don't know why, because I play all the races and all the matchups, but it's just especially with this perspective in mind, I really judge the other guys. Like, it's versus Zerg, just do this and do that and then that. <laughs> now for some Protoss. No one's uh, asked about my gun holster today. I'm actually gonna take it off. Getting a headache. Ugh, freedom. Freedom to slouch. Posture corrector. It absolutely helps me. That's why I do it. Showtime device. 
Starcraft posture metric. On a scale of one to showtime. How showtime are you? A brand? I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure any of them work, though, honestly. I don't think it's a... Uh... I honestly don't think you can get a bad posture corrector. There must be something out there that is bad, but hard-pressed to find one. A lot of things I wish I was sponsored by. Actual useful things that I already use, you know? It'd be great. You have not enough That's right. Attack it. You must place that in a house. You have Sure. I mean, honestly, though, why not? Until I have to scout for the second pylon. You have not enough minerals. Still can build my gases. There we go. Now we'll scout for the second pylon. It might have been coincidentally timed to the scout, but almost looked like too fast of a pylon. I'm gonna go scout. A probe left. Hasn't arrived yet. But in general, this wasn't a a scout at all, which makes me concerned. Check gold. Check here. Check there. So I know what the fuck he's doing. And play it safe. Hmm. Don't know where that probe went. Stargate this game. The skies await. Okay. Research complete. Time for battle. Well that's a little sus. Fuck, I was supposed to cancel that. Is there hundred minerals I actually do need? Abandoned ship. Uh oh. Thinks you might be too late. No shield battery. 
That sucks. Oh man. Fucking probe scout. Fucking rude. Some bullshit scouting. <laughs> 